Hey, another Dude in the Kitchen epic episode. I'm going to show you guys how I can safely freeze my nuts for longer storage. Yeah, stay tuned. I'll explain. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I was talking right. I got a good deal on a, a bunch of nuts, a variety of nuts down at Grocery Outlet. So I went and stocked up on nuts because uh, they were such a good price. I got a variety of them. I got uh, pecans, walnuts. I got uh, different pistachios that are sh uh, shelled. And then I got a lot of um, almonds and slivered almonds for holiday baking. Yeah, uh, those are coming up. But I want to increase the shelf life of my nuts because uh, nuts, are, you know, they have that fat in there. And that fat will go rancid after a short period of time. So you want to eat, you want to have a, 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 um, consume nuts if uh, uh, within a year uh, within about six months, three to six months is what they said basically a shelf life for nuts are because uh, they're still studying this but they suspect that the uh, rancid nuts is contributing to certain types of cancers. They're still searching that, researching it. I don't have any conclusive evidence on that but I just read that and I just want to pass it on to you. Don't eat rancid nuts. Now I needed to pull my original video from the uh, platforms, the internet, uh, because I wanted to add more information because I come up with some more information. So here's the amended show. Now Sarah Haas from All Recipes uh, website, uh, she went through and she also recommends Storing them in the pantry is not all that great idea because you get a longer shelf life when you do store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator. You even get a longer shelf life if you store them in an airtight container in the freezer. A Canadian website also says the exact same thing. Storing your uh, nuts in an airtight container and then storing them in the freezer for long term. Now Richard La Marita, who is a chef and instructor at a plant-based culinary arts, he also recommends that storing your nuts in an airtight container if you're not going to use them right away. Longer term in the refrigerator you can get about three to six months storage life on there and if you want to go up to a year store them in an airtight container in the freezer Make sure your freezer set at zero degrees Fahrenheit Mr. La Marita also added that some nuts Depending on which nuts they are store longer than other nuts because of the amount of um, Fats that are in the nuts because the higher concentration of fats in the nuts, they store less time than the low. Now, almonds will store longer. And also, shelled nuts, like these are pistachios that are shelled, will st store longer and better if you shell them. I purchased these already shelled. Now, of course, I didn't stop there. I went ahead and looked at Michigan State University Extension Office, which they do research in food preservations, and they also recommended the same recommendations is if you're going to store uh, nuts on a shelf at ambient room temperature, use them within three months. If you're going to uh, not use them right away, just put them in an airtight container, store them in the refrigerator, even a Ziploc bag drawing as much out 
uh, air out as you can. That's sufficient enough to store in the refrigerator or the freezer to get a longer shelf life. And that again is from the people at Michigan State University Extension Office. Now there's uh, one caution that I found in one video. I'll leave a link to that video so you can determine yourself for yourself if this is how you want to preserve your foods. This one video used one study that showed that storing food or the nuts in the freezers, it was a blanket statement, storing nuts in the freezer can cause it to go rancid because of the moisture and also that rancidity can cause a lot of harmful effects and even death in a, in a human body. However, when I went to research that paper that they were referring to, it basically is plagiarizing uh, a lot of other different papers that uh, basically said the same thing. They all said, they all took the same notes from one research paper, but I could not validate that particular research paper or even the author of the, the original author of that research so preserve at your own risk here better safe or sorry now there's they said that you can just store nuts in a airtight container on the shelf for about three to six months or you can link them their shelf life yeah i've heard where it can be up to two years on the shelf they recommend a year uh in the freezer now I want to point out there is a right way and a wrong way to freeze nuts. Uh, I'm uh, this is the wrong way using these type of jars. These are small mouth jars, and then these are the wide mouth jars. These are straight. They want you to freeze them in the straight jar rather than the colored jar. Now you can do a straight jar or a taper jar, and not these. And here's a list that Ball puts out of freezer safe jars that is safe for you to be able to freeze in. So I got my jar set up. I've got my nuts set aside here. I'm going to go ahead and fill the jars about an inch from the top headspace. And then I've got my Black & Decker vacuum sealer, but I also have these little lids that attach to the vacuum sealer and you can vacuum seal the jars with the regular lids, yes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw all the air out of there and I'm gonna leave um, links down below on where you can buy the proper jars, the a vacuum sealer, and then the special lids. One is for wide mouth, which is this is the one I'll be using and one is for regular mouth jars. Now it's relatively straightforward on um, canning these jars. Whoop.
So there's a simple process of vacuum sealing nuts to give them a longer shelf life. Now you can just store them in your pantry shelf in a cool, dark place. Uh, make sure you uh, keep the sunlight off of them because the sunlight will degrade your um, nuts. So don't expose them to sunlight. Uh, really any foods, just keep them in a cool, dark place. Now it's time to go transfer these to the freezer so I can get a longer shelf life by freezing them to keep them from going rancid. Well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host, Dude in the Kitchen, sharing with you guys some stuff on, um, number one, using the appropriate type of jar for freezing. Not all jars are created equal for freezing, so pay attention to that. And then also vacuum sealing. I showed you a simple vacuum sealer that I have and the lids. I'll go ahead and leave the links down below. I ran out of large jars. I ran out of jars, period. The freezer safe jars. So I have to go down to the market and get another couple of cases of large mouth, large, larger jars for my almonds. Because Becky and I eat a lot of almonds. It's a good, healthy nut. It's a nice, healthy snack to snack on. So hope you guys learned something from this video uh, on freezing nuts. Yep, shared with you guys how I'm freezing my nuts and giving them a longer shelf life. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm due to the kitchen series. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up, click that share button, sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps promote the channel. Be safe, always be kind. I'll see you guys in my next adventure. Bye-bye now.